So this time on my iPad, I decided to go for a dark theme because I thought that having a light theme for a long time, I wanted to sort of switch it up. So I decided to go for a dark theme this time. And this is the wallpaper that I'm using right now. It is from Ko-Fi, my Ko-Fi page. If you want to get it for yourself, do consider supporting me on Ko-Fi. You can buy your wallpapers there. I make wallpapers and sell them on Ko-Fi in exchange for your support. So yeah. Alright, so opening the iPad, you'll see my main home screen and I didn't change much compared to before. The only major difference I would say is the layout and the theme and sort of what is really on the home screen. More or less, it is not a huge difference compared to before. But I really, really do like this look and I'm planning to rock this uh, home screen for the next couple months. Alright, so let's start with the widgets on my home screen and we can first start with this big ass clock and this calendar. This is MD Clock, you can download this from the App Store and this is essentially just a clock. Now, you don't have to buy this, there's a paid plan for it which you could unlock more clocks but you don't really have to do that. I highly recommend you don't do that unless you have money to spend. But you can display the clock in this app which is pretty cool because, well for starters it looks really really nice and really sleek and if you just put it beside you while you're studying or doing whatever, it's a good timer for you to use during those productive sort of sessions. I'm currently using the minimal clock because I feel like it looks really nice, especially in black. The next widget we have is from TickTick, which essentially shows all the to-do tasks that I need to do in my inbox. So as you can see, it's displaying all the to-do tasks that I need to do or that is available in my to-do list. I mainly use TickTick for my to-do lists, although I am transitioning to Acaflow because I do really want to have a centralized system for all my to-do lists and TickTick does not really allow me to do that, but I've been using their to-do list for so long because they have the feature to sort your to-do lists and to sort of have folders as well as labels and all that, which is pretty useful in my opinion. Next widget we have is a sort of battery indicator on the Apple sort of widget thing. I don't know, I'm not an Apple user, but yeah. I only found this a few days ago and it's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that this widget existed. It essentially just shows the battery uh, status of your Bluetooth devices, which is pretty cool. Um, it's not really available on Android. If it is, then um, don't, don't, don't add me. I'm, 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 I'm not interested in this kind of thing. But I thought it was pretty cool. It shows me the battery percentage of the iPad as well as my pen, my earphones and all that, which is, I don't know, I just found that pretty neat. The next widget we have is also from MD Clock, which is this really cute pixel little guy. I don't know how you call it. I don't know, it, I just found it cute. It's available in MD Clock, which is part of the premium plan of MD Clock, but I really, really find it really cute. I mean, just look at it. It's so cute. It's a llama. You could change it into any pixel character you want available. And I don't know, just opening your iPad and seeing this, it just makes me feel happy for some reason. So I decided to add that. Thank you, Janice Studies. I, I got the idea from her. And on the bottom left we have is my Gmail widget. I am always checking my email every day for any deals or any updates on my school and whatever. And I kind of want to see sort of a short window in my iPad where I could see my recent emails so that I could be notified or I can even check if there are any new emails or if there is some writing that I need to do. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I use Gmail for emails, so. And finally on the widget side we have is my small, small, small itty bitty widget for my Google Calendar. It just shows me what I need to do for the day and it just shows me what holiday or what event is occurring on the specific day. Um, here you could see that it's not really big. I don't really need it to be too big, um, although to be fair, they don't offer a bigger widget, so they only have like a 1x2 one or 1x1 one one square. But this 1x1 one one square is sufficient, so yeah. For those wondering, I use Google Calendar to time block my day, so yeah. Alright, moving on to the apps, we don't have much. The first app we have is Settings. Very riveting. The next app we have is Spotify, which is where I mainly listen to music. Now don't get me wrong, I remember complaining about not having Spotify Premium and not having money to buy that shit. Next up we have is Adobe Acrobat. I don't know why I have this app, I just downloaded it because I wanted to read PDFs but then I just realized that I don't really need an app to look at PDFs, I just have to open the PDF itself and I can just read it there but I just have it here for no reason. Next up we have is Netflix. I still use this app for some reason, there's not many good movies anymore. I don't know why I'm still paying the subscription for Netflix, I honestly wish I could just pay for another service but I have no idea what to buy so 
so I'm gonna just keep using Netflix and perhaps watch all the movies that I wanted to watch here before I start subscribing to another service. The next app we have is Twitch, and this is just gonna be a plug for my Twitch channel. Go follow me on my Twitch page. Sorry if I haven't been streaming much, there has been a typhoon so I couldn't really stream because of the power outages, but overall, um, if you wanna watch me live stream or if you wanna watch me just do some random shit, then go over to twitch.com slash kindnotebook and you will be surprised that I'm a real human being. Moving to the Pinovo app, which is coincidentally our sponsor for today. This segment of the video is sponsored by Pinovo. Recently, I lost my old stylus, so Pinovo was kind enough to sponsor me their new Pinovo AX Ultra. Compatible with all iPads with a Type C connector, as well as a multi function button. You can download the Pinovo app to display the battery of the pen as well as assign different functions into the multi function button. They support apps such as GoodNotes and Notability. For example, here, I assign my button to switch the pen, or the eraser, and the highlighter. Not to mention the fact that this pen is also magnetic, so that's pretty neat. Head over to the link down in the description to buy their pens. Again, thank you so much, Pinovo, for sponsoring this segment. Back to the vlog. Now, I mainly use this app because I got a free pen from Pinovo and I I need to use this app in order to access its features. But yeah, it's just a simple pen stylus app. Yeah. And finally, we have the productivity apps. We have four of them. The first one is GoodNotes, which is the main app I use for taking down notes. I bought this a long time ago and I do not regret, although I do not use it that much nowadays, but I do think that I will be using it a lot more as I continue my dentistry. Next up, we have is Notion, my workspace app. For those who are living under a rock, Notion is essentially a workspace app that you could use to sort of organize your life or to take down notes or whatever. I keep it on my iPad just in case I'm going to be using my Notion on something else other than my computer. So for example, if I have to read something on my iPad, I just have to open it here. Second to last, we have this Khan Academy. Now I don't really use as much anymore, but it's really, really nice. I really loved using it for extra learning whenever I'm stuck in a subject or in a topic i just have to open khan academy and they probably have a lecture around that topic although i do have to say this is mainly focused around college level high school level and maybe pre-college or first year college i haven't really heard much use of it for people who are deep in their college years but hey it's pretty fun and it's free and finally, we have is Tick Tick. Now, I did mention this before, but this is the main to-do list app that I use. And yeah, I've just been using it the past few months, but I've been switching to a new app, but I'm still experimenting. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this short video. I hope you guys enjoyed the iPad tour. I'll be updating you guys if ever I change it drastically. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to buy more of my wallpapers, click down the link down in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.